Hello there, uh, welcome to Bank Time. Um, it's, a, it's a strict um, two metre distance between myself and Mr. Adam Adam Adams here. Um, but you are joining us post lockdown on this fantastic Dorset venue, um, which is Adam Syndicate. We're very, very lucky to be here. Isn't that right? Yeah, it's um, to be fishing is kind of brilliant at the moment anyway. This is only my first night of the year, believe it or not. We're nearly in June, which is a bit crazy. Um, the syndicate itself, I didn't even know it was going to be open again. Um, but a few emails and a few phone calls, and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to get back out ready for a quick night. That's it, that's it. So we, we've um, walked around the lake a couple of times. Um, we've got probably two or three hours left of, of daylight um, before, before night time. And um, we think we found a couple of good spots. If, if, if we can nick a fish between us, um, it's a bit of a result, but you, you've had a few out of here before. And, and yeah, I've had a few out of here to over 30 pounds now. Um, it's, it's by no means easy. There's not a lot of carp in here, but they're all like, proper old, decent original fish. Um, it's just nice to be out. If you, even if I don't catch, I'll go and happy. Because to be out, from, stuck from being at home 24 hours a day to being out and seeing seeing civilization, it's it's just great. That's it. Yeah, and the, and the transformation post, um, pre lockdown to post lockdown, how the lakes are looking. It's gone from looking like winter venues to looking like complete, full of life in bloom venues. So it's it's yeah, like 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 Adam said there, amazing to be out. We feel pretty lucky really, and um, anything we catch. Um, between us and this session is going to be a bonus. All right, let's not waste any time, Mr. Adam, Adam, let's Adam, 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 let's go. See you, Baldy. <laughs> Old Adam, he, he takes a lot of inspiration from uh, Chris Yates in Passion for Anglin. Um, obviously, he famously put a scarecrow in Redmire and uh, caught fish out in the middle of the water. But Adam's erected these all the way around the lake um, just so the the fish get used to humans being here really so when he slips into a swim the carp barely even notice him so it gives him the edge too much today mate no mm. what you seen Derek much mate right um I've just got the rods in um there's kind of two little spots here um, the one that I'm kind of bivvied up in is it's not really wide enough to get three rods in and, and kind of safely land a fish so um, I've kind of put two in there um, and there's a little cut out just there by some reeds uh, one side and some like a, a gravelly patch underneath a tree there there's, there's a, a decent a decent enough um, kind of depth of like four or five foot so I've put a spot just under there one out to that tree in the middle of the lake um, fairly locked up probably about a meter to two meters from it um, and there's a willow tree casting um, straight back down that end of the lake um, we, we had a, when we had a walk around earlier it looked like it was a nice bottom there so I've, I've just kind of sent one out there um, largely on um, the, the advice of Adam really um, it's hard to know when you when you've got um, kind of 16 hours to kind of hook a fish it's the first time you've been here and it's a it's a slightly tricky venue it's, it's always difficult to know what to do but I've, I've kind of taken his advice um, a little bit but um, anyway I, I was it's Friday um, today I was really lucky enough to get out on the first day back fishing on Wednesday and do a day session down my favorite fishery and uh, yeah let's have a look there we go I'm absolutely thrilled with this one um, God, probably about two hours into the session absolutely scorching evening um, really looking forward to the night now and he's taken a rosehip isotonic pop-up um, just on the left hand side of the margin there look at that happy days let's get him back come on then mate yes is another absolutely belting scaly fish and uh, I think the smile on my face says it all I'm absolutely buzzing Let's get him back. Yeah, so absolutely buzzed to um, catch a couple of fish down there and to get two stunningly scaly fish like that as well. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's just amazing to be back out fishing again. Um, this is this session today is something um, that is really, really exciting. It's always good going fishing with Adam. 
Um, you know, he's he's um, he's a decent angler. He's a good mate, and uh, yeah, one thing I like, he likes to go to bed about ten o'clock. So 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 do I. So I get plenty of sleep. No, <coughs> till like four a.m. So um, yeah, no, re really really chuffed to be out, and uh, I just hope one of us get one of these fish here. Just just one. Um, because they're special, very special. Um, speaking of special, um, so today is Friday, I'm gonna be going home tomorrow morning, but Sunday, I'm gonna be back out with my old mate Chris, and uh, we will be filming uh, 140, episode 140 of Back of the Landing Net. So uh, yeah, very, very exciting week. From having, oh, so long without any fishing whatsoever, um, to get out a couple of, catch a couple of fish, be on a lake like this, and then, get out with my old mate Chris and, and get it back of the landing net done. What a week, what a week. Um, hope you guys are having a great time being back out there as well. And uh, yeah, right, let's have a little wander about and see if we can spot any fish. Right, Adam. So you've, you've been on this syndicate for about a year? Just over, a year and a half. Lovely. And, and it's pretty fair to say you've got a, a reasonably hectic life. You've got a couple of young kids. You don't probably get out as often as you want to get out. No, mad as it is, this is my first night I've done here. Um, since been on it, I've done oh, mainly uh, probably two, three hours a night when it's been light till about 10 o'clock, once or twice a week. Um, a handful of day sessions throughout the winter for like literally six hours. Probably been here maybe 15 times in total. But you've, but you've caught some absolutely fantastic fish and we're just popping up a few pictures now um, so everybody can see uh, the kind of stamp of fish that we're dealing with. Um, how, how, what's your kind of approach? You get down here, you've only got a couple of hours. Um, how, how do you approach the lake? Um, I mean, the first few times I've done a few recce, I've had a little walk around and stuff. Um, because it's hardly fish, there's a couple of just known swims, things to produce. With limited time, I've just kind of plumped it for the ones that have done fish previously. Tactics, not a lot of bait, PVA bag, um, out on the spot with a wafter on it. And that's kind of done the business more. I've probably not put any, any sort of baits in at all. On a day session, one day session, I'll put a kilo of bait in. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it really. Just simple tactics, really, nothing groundbreaking, you know. Just an inline lead, blowback rig. And that's been doing the bites for me. Right, the temperature's really starting to drop now. Um, we've all, all the rods are out. I think they're in good spots, aren't they? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, clipped up, marked up, good drops. Yeah. Time for a fish, hopefully. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, we haven't seen anything, um, but then Adam says you don't really see a lot. Don't really do, They're, it's a weird little place, they don't really like crash or jump out or anything here, it's just kind of, you know, you just kind of get lucky. Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of spots where um, some, some fry and smaller fish have been spooked, you just see like a whole load jump out, so um, potentially that's carp moving around, who knows, but we've got some good spots. Um, I say we're just going to grab something to eat now. Um, Unless there's a fish, I think probably the next thing you're going to see is uh, some bacon cooking for breakfast time. <laughs> but, um, Sounds good. Yeah. All right. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Right, mate. I slept through all of this, <sighs> but I've woke up, wandered over, come to get a cup of coffee, and uh, chat about the night and. Uh, You've got the, you've literally just netted this. Unbelievable. Yes. Mate, couldn't have, couldn't have wrote it. You know, literally. First lot I was sort of stirring a little bit. And then had a one toner, took me around the back of the island after about 20 minutes, put the net under this, immaculate common, 29 pound two. Woo. Couldn't be happier for a post-lockdown fish. Well happy to get out. Absolutely amazing fish and to be honest I feel privileged to be here to see it. Absolute belting common that. Great to share it with somebody. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. dude. Sharing is caring, isn't it? That's but, it. But as long as it's two metres apart. <laughs> nice one. Look a lucky fish. charm this guy is, I tell you. See you, baby. Look at his face. Look at his face. 
He is knackered. Get down the car route tomorrow, I tell ya. Yeah, nice one, mate, nice one. Right, that is the end of our quick overnighter. Um, like I say, we got here a couple of hours before dark last night. Um, we're leaving this morning um, and it's been a bit of a result, to be honest, um, to put such little time in, um, which to be fair, Adam's used to doing on this lake and nicking a fish. Just like a normal session, really. That's it, yeah, but to get away with um, that stunning common, um, it's, a, it's a major success, so yeah. Yeah, um, it's been real good. I mean, it's nice to come down for actually do a night here, first time over a year. Um, to go away with an amazing fish like that is awesome. It's also nice to get Jay down here to get him to share it. We've talked about it loads and whatever, but it's good for him to see it and have a fish. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be, but hopefully next time he'll be in the fish. Yeah, that's it. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, congratulations. Cheers, amazing buddy. fish. And uh, see you next time. Cheers, take care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Derek, tell me everything you know. <laughs>